Hi, I'm oh, Shireen. Good to see you. I'm Vicky. Hiya, nice to meet you. Hiya. Moose. Hiya, Moose, Shireen. Hello. Shireen, did you go to the lecture this morning? Yeah. I did not open your notes. I missed it. Oh, they're in my laptop. Sorry. Oh, OK. Do you know where the others are? She didn't get coffee. No, it's all right, thanks. I think they're on the way. I think I saw them. I passed them further down the corridor. Right, OK. It's because it's getting ten past now. They should be here, shouldn't they? I'm sure they're on the way. <laughs> You've had string fellow, haven't you? Yeah. Well, you, have you seen what he does? Well, with the leg? Yeah, but when he's getting to a really important place, Guys. He, he sticks his leg up on the table like that. Guys, <laughs> sorry, do you want to crack on with this? Because we've not got that long to do it. Um, what are the barriers to effective learning and how can this be overcome? There's quite a lot, going to be quite a lot of stuff to cover, so do you want to elect a group leader and then we can be specific about the points. Um, I don't mind doing that, because I've done group leading before. Maybe we could all have a go at running the sessions. Mm. What do everyone else think? Yes. OK. What I'm saying is, I think we're going to need to decide now what we're going to do in the presentation, otherwise we're just going to be discussing loads of things over the weeks and not have an idea of how we're actually going to present it. So I've got a PowerPoint. I think we should all share our ideas that. about what to include. Well, yeah, but we need to have some yeah, idea now of what we're going to do when we present it, otherwise we're just going to look stupid. Yeah, we're not going to look like we know what we're share doing. Ideas. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying Excuse don't me. share our ideas, Excuse but me. I'm saying... Excuse me. Sorry. I, I think we have to uh, uh, communicate our ideas onto the board. What okay. for the, the, the way I see it is that we'll start with the effective and ineffective approaches to learning. Yes. OK, so we've got good planning, relevant resources, sharing ideas, clear communication and using feedback. Does that help? Do you get it now, Moz? What do you mean? Well, it's taking you long enough. Yes, it's clear for me, OK? Well, I didn't really understand before either, but it is a lot more clear now. Yeah, like, let's move on, cos we've got ten minutes left and we've only looked at effective, so do you want to look at ineffective now? I've got to go. Brilliant. Well, sorry. When are we meeting next week? Same time. Fine. See you later. See you later. Good commitment. It's very rude. <laughs> OK, how about we finish this list and we can update Rob next week? Right. There's quite a few big personalities in our group. At the moment, I don't really feel comfortable challenging them, especially Shireen, because she's a little bit bossy. But I know it's only because she wants us to get a good mark, which is fair enough. And I get the impression that she's probably done quite a lot of group work before and she thinks she knows the best way to do it. The only problem is she needs us to let us like make decisions as a group instead of telling us what to do. Vicky's nice. She includes everyone and she's quite creative. And she agrees with me about the leader thing because I think it's ridiculous to have a leader at our age. The only problem with her is I think she's more worried about the group getting on as a whole rather than the final presentation mark and I really want to get a good grade. Muzzy's nice. He's like me, quite quiet, just takes it in and says something when it needs to be said. I think he might start to irritate Rob a little bit though because sometimes he needs things repeating just a few times so that he gets the gist and I could see Rob getting a little bit irritated with him already today. Really not sure about Rob. He could be okay but he's obviously only here because he has to be. And him and Shireen are definitely going to clash a little bit. I just hope they don't have a big argument because that's going to make it so much more difficult for the rest of the group. I think my role's probably going to be writing the presentation because I like that much more than actually standing up and speaking. If we all try hard, I think we could get quite a good mark. My first impressions of the group is that everyone seems to be OK, but I think we're going to need a strong leader to make sure that everyone pulls the weight. We have got a hell of a lot of work to do and we don't have much time to do it. There's really tight deadlines on this and I'm not the kind of person that just leaves things to the last minute. I like to get it done on time. A lot of the time the group seems to think it's okay to just sit and chat. 
I suppose I'm just worried that some of them might let us down. Vicky seems all right. I think she's going to work quite hard, but for some reason she just seems to want to challenge me quite a lot. I don't think she understands that all I'm trying to do is push us forward and make sure that we get everything done. Um, I just think we haven't got time for a lot of happy, kind of groupy stuff. I think Delia appreciates that. Um, she seems to be quite quiet, but I think she'll be good at presentations and the guys seem to like her, which is good because well, someone's got to keep Rob in check. Oh, I just think Rob is a law unto himself, like, he turned up late today and then he decided to discharge himself early, so it's obvious he couldn't give a toss about the project, which is nice. Um, actually, it's not nice. It really frustrates me because I'm 110% committed to this and uh, it'd be nice if everybody appreciated that. I think Muz does. Um, he's also pretty quiet, but... I think he's just trying to grasp what we're doing at the minute and I'm pretty sure we're going to have to carry him through, but at least he's trying. I've led groups before, you see, so I kind of know how, what it's like to make deci decisions and delegate tasks. Um, plus, I've learned it at work as well, so I think we'll be OK if someone just makes some decisions and leads the group. They've asked me to talk about first impressions in the group and whether they think my first impression will change of anyone in the group as the project progresses. It's an interesting idea, but I can't see it working. I mean, first impressions are usually right. Mine don't usually change. I've done a bit of psychology at high school, so I know a bit about this. Apparently, when you go for an interview, the interviewer's already made his mind up about you as soon as you step foot in the door. You haven't even had a chance to open your mouth, so what's the point in that? They might as well just line everyone up outside and pick the person they think looks right for the job. See, I don't think people can make their mind up that fast, but I make my mind up pretty quickly about people and I stick to it. You want me to name names? Shireen. She's really gobby, really bossy and annoying. She's always got her mouth open. She's always telling someone to do something. She's getting on everyone's nerves, especially Vicky. I mean, I, Vicky's cool now. But I can see Shreen just pecks at her head. Vicky's going to explode in her face. Delia hasn't said much yet. I think she's just bored. She looks bored. She sits there with that bored body language, twiddling her hair and biting her nails. She might just be shy. I don't really know what to say about Muz. He's really doing my head in. I know it's not his fault because he can't speak the language properly, but if we keep having to explain everything to him twice, we're never going to get anywhere. Me? <laughs> they probably think I'm a right pain. <laughs> Did you see Shireen's face when I left? <laughs> oh, they'll learn to love me. I've been asked to speak about my first impressions here today. I think it was good, and I think it went well. I think that once we all get used to each other, it will be fine. There are some people who like to say a lot, and some people who watch and listen. It is my first impression that Rob and Shireen say a lot, and maybe Vicky too. Sometimes people say a lot because they, they know a lot and they, they say a lot, but not always. Sometimes people like to fill up space uh, with talk because they are shy and they are not entirely convinced of what they are saying. Me and Delia, we watch and we listen. We will say something when we have something to say and the need to say it. Mm, first impressions. Uh, I don't feel comfortable talking about the others. I think I made a good impression, well I hope I did. Although I could have been a bit more organised at the start and suggested that we make an agenda right at the beginning. I've worked in a group before and it was horrible. Everybody argued and we didn't make decisions as a group, so I really don't want that to happen again. I'm going to try and make sure we all get on well together as a team and that we make decisions together as a team. We're all pretty clever, so we should do this project really well. We've only met once, so it's hard to say how I think the others will contribute, but... You know, we've just got to remember to communicate and to make sure that we draw on all our strengths. Like Shireen, she's really focused and 
really committed and I think she'll keep us moving along really well. And Muz has loads of ideas for the content and he seems to be really keen on making notes so I'm sure he'll record everything that we do. Delia seems really thoughtful and I'm sure she'll be really good at helping us put the presentation together and making sure that it's all relevant, to the, you know, all the content's relevant. And Rob, well, he's really funny and he keeps everything relaxed. I think he's capable of more than he lets on, but he's playing it a bit cool. But on the whole, I think we're a good team and we'll work well together. Rob a few more minutes. Okay. Sorry. The lecture always runs over. It's going to be a problem. Why don't we just start five minutes later? Cool. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, um, my notes say we agreed to start this meeting by allocating tasks. So to save time, I've drawn up an action plan. Um, I've given us each a task to do. Spread the load. That's really good, Shireen, but wouldn't it be better if we agreed these tasks together? Mm. Well, I thought that Rob, um, you could do all the techie stuff like organising equipment and things. Um, Vicky, um, writing up the notes, like taking notes in the meetings and then typing them up afterwards. And Delia, um, I thought you'd be quite good at drafting the PowerPoint presentations. Did you get it all printed off then? Could you print it off for me? Yeah. Thank you. There you go. Oh, nice that one, cheers. We always do that in the Come canteen. On, sugar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One time we actually had a water fight with them. They got cups of water and we had little super soakers and we were running in the canteen, squirting over it. Really yeah, it's really in there. Okay, um, guys, shall we continue? Yes? Right, as I was saying, if we all take on one responsibility, then we'll make sure that what everything gets I done and it gets done efficiently and we've got it by the deadlines, basically. But what about the actual content? Who's going to research it? And also, um, we need to prepare it and present it. Yeah, that's, so what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to say, if you'd let me finish. Do we have any choice? Right, the presentation's 20 minutes long, so we've each got four minutes, because um, it's five of us, I've done the maths. Um, so if we all present our own little bit, that should be good. Thanks for that, that's a really good starting point. What does everyone else think? What if I don't want to be in charge of equipment? Yeah, and I don't want to take the notes every week. Why don't we take your plan as a starting point and then we can agree the tasks we want to do between us? Yeah. It's really interesting. How'd it go down? Brilliant, they got some really good feedback. Right, well now we've got all our tasks sorted and we know what we're doing, why don't we decide what's going to go into PowerPoint? Well, hang about, who decided we were doing this PowerPoint idea? I want to hear more about this role play thing. PowerPoint is much easier. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's in our action plan now. What do you think, Delia? Well, Delia's happy to go with PowerPoint, aren't you? Look, I'm not saying PowerPoint would be bad. I just think a role play would be more interesting. It's not quite as predictable. I really like the role play idea, but I think we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. We haven't even thought of the content yet, let alone how to present it. Come on, if we can't decide on some of this bits, we're going to be here all day. Why don't we just vote on it? All right? Who's for PowerPoint? I still really like the role play idea, but it won't work unless we're all committed to it. How about we compromise and we use PowerPoint to do the introduction and conclusion and then a role play to demonstrate the barriers? So how would we do this role play? Well, there's lots of different ways. My friends used a mock interview and that worked really well. We did it at work. We acted out um, customer complaint scenarios. I know it's not the same as here, but it's just another idea. Well, don't you think we're just making a lot of extra work for ourselves? Why don't we just do PowerPoint like we agreed? No, like you agreed, Shireen. Let's not waste any more time on it now. Important, you know, the visibility on the screen is crucial, the colours are. So actually, um, I was thinking, a blue text will work better on a yellow background. 
Nah, let's, let's just stick with green. I think we're starting to get off track now. Shall we move on? We haven't really thought about this presentation. I mean, we're worrying about the colours when we haven't even thought about the audience or what we're trying to say to them. I think we've just jumped in without doing any planning. Well, I said that right from the start. We need to organise. Yes, I agree. It is important to be clear about what we are doing and to get it right. So, why don't we talk about the audience and the objectives for the presentation? Yeah. Okay, so we've decided on the purpose and the audience for the presentation, so what's the next step? I think we should uh, think about our personal experiences as a learner and come to the next meeting with the summary. I think also we need to evaluate and consider our experiences. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, we could come up with a set of questions, which but after... we've only we... got a few weeks left, yeah. Yes, but this is the important part. Um, we need to think about it so we know what the barriers are. And okay, after... so we need some questions, but what questions are we going to ask? If you just listen to Mudge rather than interrupt him all the time, he might get a chance to tell us. You never let anyone contribute. It's not all about you and how you want to do it. Uh, come, on, come on, we're all under pressure. You know, we've wasted a bit of time today, but we've done some work as well. Time's nearly up anyway, so I think we should finish now. I'll get notes off everyone and I'll do a summary and email it round. Thanks, Rob. Sorry, Shireen. It's all right. Come in, Buzz. Here you go. So now Rob's doing a summary. Let's come over him. Maybe it's a sign of things to come. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. So, so in my head. I know what I want to say, but it never comes out right. It's frustrating. Back at home, I would never have these problems. That's really interesting. I hadn't thought of it like that. No, I haven't either. But, like, 40 minutes has passed now, so I think we should get some work done. Yeah, this is the main content of the presentation, though, so it is work. Yeah, you're right, but we probably should move on now. Why don't we just all write our own bits down? Um, I'm just looking at this. Uh, we, we can't do four minutes each in our learning experience. The, the presentation is only 20 minutes. So that won't leave time for an introduction or a conclusion. Yeah, but we're not doing four minutes each in our learning experiences. We're just speaking for four minutes in the presentation. We just make one list of barriers and present one. And besides, if we all speak about our own learning experiences, we'll repeat each other. Mm. Oh, I thought we were all going to talk for four minutes on our own personal experiences. Me too. No, I think Vicky's right. We'll just make one list and then introduce one each. Yeah. Each student should deliver an aspect of the presentation. So we're right. It doesn't have to be a commentary of our personal experiences and it doesn't have to be four minutes each either. OK, so we interpreted it a little bit differently, but it's not the end of the world, and I think this is better, because it gives us more scope to think about who can present what. We wouldn't have this confusion if we had someone leading the group, making group decisions. <laughs> well, I said we'd have a leader in the first week, but you didn't want one then. If we're going to have one, I could do it, because I've done it before. We're doing OK as we are. We don't need one if we all work together. Yeah, I don't think we need a leader. We're not kids. What do you think, Moz? I, I think you should be leader, Delia. Yeah. Look, I will lead if everybody wants me to, but I really don't think we need a leader. And no offence, Delia, but if we do have one, I think we need somebody that's got experience of leading groups. We need someone that's going to be strong enough to move things forward, because we're running out of time. Well, actually, I have got some experience. And maybe what this group needs is someone to coordinate rather than dominate. Oh, well, thanks a lot, Delia. Do you know what? If you're so brilliant at coordinating, then why don't you take over? Because at the minute, this project's a right mess. I'm not getting a bad mark for this. I say we have a vote for leader now. I vote for Delia. I agree. I still don't think we need one. Look, Jones is going to be here in a minute, and, and we still haven't sorted anything out. We're not working well as a team. I think we should tell him and get him to sort it out for us. <laughs> no way, we can't tell him. We're like complete idiots. Yeah, and it might count against us. But, but we've done nothing so far but argue. 
Look, don't worry, we will sort it out, but just don't say anything. Uh, but we need to ask about the brief. Yeah, that's okay. But in general, let's just tell them things are fine, okay? We'll just walk this. We'll maybe speak. Hi. 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 Can I join you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's good. Right, well, if, uh, See how it how it's going. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. So how is it going? Well, Good. I, I, I think we're doing yeah. very well, mm -hmm. uh, but we are having problems understanding the brief. Uh -huh. um, we're not sure what you want from us. Uh, for example, um, how many minutes shall we speak for? Well, that's up to you. Um, just as long as all six of you present. Um, there's only five of us. Well, that's the that's the names I've got. So I've got six on the list. <laughs> it was Liam Brown. Well, I've got Liam Brown down as uh, a member of the group from, uh, from no, day one. He's, not he's never uh, been in, right? Well, could, well, can one of you get in touch with him and tell him when and where you're meeting? Well, um, we could, but I've allocated all the tasks now and we've drawn up an action plan and stuff, so if we get in touch with him, we're going to have to start from scratch, basically. Well, we've all done our action plans and tasks. Look, it's not a problem. I'm sure we can find things for him to do. OK, so is there anything else you need help with today? No, I think that's all. Mm. Okay, you sure? Uh, I'm going to be booked up for the next couple of weeks, so today really is your last chance. Um, have you got a list of the equipment that we need to give to them? I'm onto it. So you've not done it then? I've just said I'm onto it. Um, I think that we only need to request equipment that's not already in the room. Nice one, Delia. See, I said you should have been leader. Do you know what time slot we have on the day? Can we go after a break? Uh, I don't see why not. Uh, I'll have to make a note of that. You better remind me on the day, OK? So if there's nothing else, I'll be getting off. Mm -hmm. OK? Yeah. OK. All right, well, I look forward to seeing you uh, after lunch on the day. OK? Thanks. See ya. Thanks for coming. Well, that were a waste of time. <coughs> I said we should have just told him. I don't think it'd be much help anyway. So should we go through what to put on the slides then, one by one? Yeah, yeah, I've got PowerPoint and laptops so you could put straight in. Well, shall I just go through what we've got before you type it up? Mm -hmm. um, one, introduce team. Two, outline content of presentation. Three, barriers to learning. Well, for four, uh, I have written how to overcome barriers. But I'm not quite sure what we're going to include here. Uh, it says... Here, we need to be drawing on the personal experiences of the group and relevant theory. Hmm. Maybe typing it straight into the slides isn't the best way of doing it. Let's be more creative and maybe do a mind map or something and gather all our ideas together. We need to find some theory for these barriers here. I'll look for some and bring them next week. So how are we going to do this role play? How about an interview? That's boring. Let's just get all our ideas down and there's no such thing as a bad idea. Oh, we could do it like a game show, because I saw a group do something like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire once, and that was really good. You'd make a good host, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, we could do it like, um, Big Brother. <laughs> or Jerry Springer. Question time. No, that's really dope. I thought there was no such thing as a bad idea. Don't be so touchy, dearie. You know I don't mean it. It's just me. We need props. And costumes. Some fake tan. No, for Jerry Springer. Yeah. No, for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Should we decide who's going to present each bit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, we need one person to do the introduction, one person to do the conclusion, and then three of us to do the role play. Does anyone know if this Liam guy's going to show up? <laughs> Forget about him. Do you know how many times I've emailed him? I must have left the course or something. I'll do the role play. I'd rather not do the role play. Cool. I'll do role play then. It, you know, it sounds like a lot. I'd like to do the conclusion. Well, mm -hmm. I think you should do role play, Moz. Why do you say that? It's uh, it's quite an important bit, and we need it to be um, clear. That's not fair. I know Moz has got an accent, but I understand him perfectly. Yes, I know I have an accent, but if I practice, I will be fine. Okay. So Vicky and Rob do role play. Moz do the conclusion, and then why don't you want to do role play, Delia? Oh, I just get really nervous and mix up my words and stuff. I'm alright if I've got the PowerPoint to prompt me, so can I do the instruction? Anyway, I think you'd be good at the role play. Yeah, well, I'm happy with that. 
Okay, well, I'll script the role play and bring it next week. Nice one. Big time. Shall we get on with these PowerPoint slides, whilst these guys wait for Vicky? Yeah, we can start them, I suppose, but we need that theory, really, off Vicky. I wish she'd hurry up. I've got a lecture at ten. You've got a mobile, haven't you? You can ring her. I've tried. It's off. Is she ill? Well, she looked all right when she went out last night. She could at least ring us and let us know if she's not going to come. What are we going to do, then? She scripted the role play. Has she sent you anything? No. Do you know what, Rob? We're just going to have to start from scratch today. And we're going to be a week behind. We're going to have to do all the work that she was meant to. This is why I don't like working in groups. I always end up doing everything. <laughs> do you? <sighs> this is just getting ridiculous now. She's like 20 minutes late. Where is she? We're just going to have to get on with it. What do you think we should have in the role play? You can't just ask me like that. I can't just think of it off the top of my head. She was desperate to do this role play. Do you know what, we should just do PowerPoint if she can't be bothered. No, no, I'm, I'm starting to like the idea of this role play. I think it'll be a laugh and no one else will be doing it. Right, well, you write it then. I'll have to get a coffee. Yeah, yeah, th that's the answer, Shereen. You know, I am glad Shireen is, is not working with us. She always gets worked up about everything. Nah, she's all right. She's got a good reason to be cross, hasn't she? V Vicky should have emailed us something, or at least switched her phone on so we could contact her. I'm sure she's got a good reason for not being here. I mean, it's not like her to let us down, is it? Maybe something has happened to her. Hope not. It's probably just something silly, like the bus has broken down or something. I'm sure she'll be here. In the meantime, if you wanted to help, you could look for the theory. What's the point? Vicky's already done it. You might as well just wait for her stuff. Maybe you should do some PowerPoint also. And then if she does show up, at least it will be useful to check the role play covers all the points. Yeah, that's a good idea, because there's no point just sitting here getting all worked up about it. All right then, you two get on with the PowerPoint. It's not like she's let you down, is it? Right, so we should have a look first. That's the easiest thing. Yeah, you I'm so sorry I'm late. I really couldn't help it. We've been trying to call you. And we've had to start the slides for the barriers as well. Is everything okay? Not really, but I'll leave. Look, I've done the script, and here's the theory. Cheers. Thank you, Vicky. Are you okay? Yeah, it's a long story. I'll tell you on the way to the lecture. OK, well, what do you want to do? You can see that I've written the script already. Just read it. I know, but we've been working on PowerPoint now because you've been gone. And to be honest, Vic, if you do this on the day or someone doesn't turn up, we're stuffed if we're doing roleplay. Look, I've said I'm sorry. I will be there on the day. You're acting like I've ruined everything. I spent ages writing that script. Right, we'll do it then. And I've researched all the theory as well. You know, I've done tons this week. What have you two done? You offered. Yeah. No one forced you. Um, you've done a really good job on this theory. I'll um, add it to the instruction. Yeah, it is actually really good, Vicky. Should we, should we get on with it? Mm -hmm. Guys, I was thinking about this assessment last night. We haven't even talked about it yet. But there is something about that in the brief. It, it, it says the assessment criteria is in the module back. Mm. Yeah, it is, but it's ages since I've read it. Has anyone got a copy? I know we get assessed on the presentation and I think we have to mark each other as well, but I can't remember any more than that. Yes, no, 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 I thought also we had to assess each other. I think that would be very interesting. If I'm marking you lot, then you've all failed. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, Liam definitely has. Maybe he's dropped out. Well, that won't affect our mark, will it? Like, we won't mm. automatically lose a sixth of our mark or something. Well, that's not fair. It's not our fault he can't be bothered to show up. But I'm, I'm going to email Jonesy and get onto it and make sure we don't lose any marks. Oh, yeah, he's such a hero, Rob. <laughs> right, well, you can have 2% for being the gobbiest member of the group. <laughs> Funny! Stop flirting, <laughs> this assessment is serious. God, is it? Look, we're going to be assessed on how we deliver this presentation, but how do we assess each other? Well, I think you usually mark each other on things like ideas, contribution, mm. commitment, stuff like that. Well, what's to stop us from giving each other top marks, then? Yeah, but I could say I'm going to give you four marks and then not do it. No, no, but we can trust each other, can't we? 
Look, it doesn't work like that. If we do that, then it'll look like we haven't done it properly. Well, like, you might not give me a very good mark for ideas, but then give me a good mark for designing the slides. Mm. And I've written the conclusion. Guys, if we think tactically about this, yeah, we can give each other good marks, but in different areas, just really subtly. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, is that. We'll give each other overall good marks, just mm. with different points of view. And it won't look at all suspicious when we all mark each other so differently. All right, we need to get our story straight after we've read it. Since we haven't read it, how do we know our presentation's going to meet the assessment criteria? Well, we do know some stuff. We know that we all have to present and that the total time's got to be 20 minutes. I don't see what else there is that's important. So, will we get individual marks on the day? No, I think we get an overall group mark for the presentation. As long as our presentation's good and we all speak of it, we should get top marks. Depends who marks it. How do we know that the other groups aren't going to mark us? What? The other groups can't mark us, they haven't seen what we've been doing. Mm. Neither's the tutor though. I suppose they're just marking us on the presentation and the content and stuff like that. No one sees all the work that goes into it. So that's why we have to mark each other? It's alright, if they give us a bad mark, we'll just give them a bad mark back. But how would we know? <sighs> Seriously, I hadn't thought about them marking us. What if they mark us down so that they look better? There's no point worrying about that. Let's just wait until we've read the criteria and then we'll talk about it. I've got to be honest, it was complete rubbish. Is it really that bad? Yeah, it was. We've got to do better than that next week, guys. It was awful. But that's what we're here to talk about today. How to make it better. We don't want to make it better, we want to make it great. I want to get a good mark out of this, Moz. OK, great then. To start with, you can stop being so stupid. The role play was just a joke. Thanks, Moz. I spent hours on that. No, 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 Vicky. Your writing was good. I meant the laughing. Yeah, you couldn't even hear what you were saying because you were giggling so much. <laughs> yeah, well, at least we weren't boring. All you did was read off your notes. Oh, be fair, Shireen. She did look up once. <laughs> yeah, I've got to agree, Delia. You've got to learn your introduction. You can't just read it out. It looks so unprofessional. Uh, I think you're being a bit unfair to Delia. We only wrote it last week. She needs more time to learn it. She's had eight weeks. Oh, come on. You know I only wrote it last week. Well, that's what I mean. Why did we only write it last week? We've had ages to do this project, guys. I said right at the start we need someone to push things forward, but would you listen? Look, I'm sorry, but I've had enough of this. Look what you've done now, Shireen. You've really upset her. And me? We all had to go at her. I don't think we gave her constructive feedback. You must all apologise to her when she returns. Yeah, we might have been a bit rough on her, but she clearly hasn't looked at this. And it's got to be right, you know. She's always going on about how many presentations she's done, but it doesn't really show, does it? No, oh, she's written a lot of them. She's always said to us she doesn't like getting up and speaking in front of people. Yeah, well, that's tough. We all have to present a section, and we know that from the start. I even swapped with her so she could do the intro. I really wanted to do that bit. You've made such sacrifices, haven't you, Shereen? I'm so glad that's over. I was really nervous, but the other guy said you couldn't tell which is good. I've been practicing all week because I was really worried about messing it up and letting the others down. And um, Muz helped me make some prompt cards, which was great because actually I didn't end up looking at them, but it's just the security of having them there just in case you need to. I'm definitely going to put something in my evaluation about nerves and overcoming them because it's been a really big problem for me. But it's been really valuable doing this because um, when I graduate, I plan to look for jobs where you're probably going to need to do things like presentations. So I'm glad that I did it, even if I <laughs> was really nervous about doing it. The um, whole project has been an awful lot of work, especially considering it doesn't count for an awful lot of the module. And I've heard quite a few people complaining about that. But I think it's been worthwhile because we've all gotten something out of it. Well, say all of us, not Liam. Because Shireen told him to get lost when he turned up today. And if I have to mark him, he's definitely getting a big fat zero. To be honest, I'm a little bit worried about marking the rest of him. But I worry a lot, so it'll probably be OK. I think I'm probably going to give everyone a four overall. Because in a roundabout sort of way, we've all put in about the same amount of work. 
even though um, Rob didn't take on any of the big tasks, I don't think that's totally his fault because Shireen and Vicky wouldn't let him. In Shireen's case, I think that's because she's got really high standards, so she just wants to make sure that everything's up to scratch. And Vicky just feels that she has to volunteer for things, otherwise they won't get done. Those two didn't get on too well, actually, but they didn't let it um, hinder the process, which is good. Actually, the group did split a little bit. There was like me, Muz and Vicky who got on really well and then Rob and Shireen ended up being quite pally too, but I guess that's just what happens with group work. You'll never guess what happened today. Liam had the nerve to turn up. After all, I've been trying to contact him and he's been blanking it and then he just turns up expecting to join in. I told him where to go. I just hope Dr Jones didn't give him a mark for it or mark us down for it because, well, it wasn't our fault. Apart from that, it went really, really well. The role play was really, really funny and we managed not to laugh and Rob was brilliant. Um, I've really actually grown to quite like Rob. At first, I thought he was going to slack off and stuff, but I think he's really put the work in. And um, the PowerPoint was good as well, and Dealey and Muzz were really, really on it. Um, yeah, so I am glad we did the role play. I think it was something a bit different and creative, and it made us stand out. Um, yeah, all I've got to do now is just do the marking sheets. And there's only four categories, so it shouldn't be too hard. I'm just kind of thinking that the four categories don't give me enough chance to say how much work I put in. I might as well have just slacked off and let everyone else do the work, like Rob. <laughs> but I've got my self-assessment to do anyway, and I think I can get across how hard I worked in that, so I'm pretty pleased. I am glad that's over. I, I was nervous as hell. It went all right, like. And guess who showed up? Liam. <laughs> no replies to our emails, nothing. Just showed up expecting to get a mark for it. Well, Shireen told them exactly where to go. And even Delia and Muz started chipping in. I think it worked in our favour, actually, because everyone kind of had a laugh about it and then, and then let it go and, you know, calm the nerves. Delia's introduction was spot on. She must have worked really hard on it, and if she was nervous, she couldn't have told. I hate to blow my own trumpet, but... The role play was amazing. <laughs> Everyone laughed at the right moments. Even Jonesy cracked a couple of smiles, so that's got to push our marks up. Muzz's conclusion was good, really clear. He did forget to ask if anyone had any questions, but Vicky just jumped in there. It was seamless, like it was meant to happen. Jonesy popped a few questions at us, but they were pretty standard. He'd asked the same, he'd asked the same questions to the same groups, like, so we were a bit more prepared for it. It's a bit of an anticlimax, really. Now it's all over. I know I said that I didn't like working in groups when we started this, but I've got used to it. It's all right, we've had some laughs, we've had a few arguments, but I think I'll miss some of them. We're gonna meet up and go for a few beers and I'll, uh, I'll definitely see more Shireen. Today went really well. It was, it was very good. It was a lot of hard work overall, but yeah, it was good. The, it went better than the rehearsal because the rehearsal was not so good and, and Delia got upset. But it was, good, it was a good experience because today Delia, she was okay. And Vicky wasn't giggling so much this time and Rob also he wasn't being the clown like he was in the rehearsal, so he was good. Shireen also, very good. And for me, myself, yeah, I was okay. For me, the language wasn't such, such a problem this time, because if I, if I practice what I have to say and rehearse it, I'm fine. And that, for me, that process worked very well. I think we will get a good mark for this. Because as a group overall, I think we work hard and I think we work well together. Rob says I think I will get a good mark because he, even he thinks I did well today. Rob said this. <laughs> so I think overall I will give the group 
Five out of five. Hmm. Yes, I agree with that. Also, in the whole of the group, we have lots of different personalities. Delia is very quiet and and shy, like like me. But um, we we get on very easily with each, with each other because our personalities are the same. Rob and Shireen, they are they are very loud overall, and I think this all helps together with the dynamics of the group, because lots of personalities combined together can actually work well, and I think we did overall. Hmm. Yes, we should be proud of what we have achieved. Oh wow, that was brilliant. Our role play was ace. I'm so glad that I convinced the rest of the group to do it. We're going to get such a good mark for that. And Muzz and Dealey's bits were brilliant too. When Muzz forgot to ask if anybody had any questions, I stepped in and it seemed like it was meant to be that way, so it was all good. And I've no idea why Delia was so nervous, because she was really good. Well, I've finished the reflective assignment now, so I've just got to do the peer evaluation. We've got to mark each other on a one to five scale based on the last ten weeks and, and everything that's happened throughout the project. Delia, well, it took her a while to get into it, but she has offered to do a lot and she's kept us really well planned, so I think I'll give her a four overall. Shireen, well... Shireen and I have had our differences and, to be honest, she spent more time flirting with Rob recently than focusing on the project, so I'll give her a three. Rob, he... well, he's done more than I expected him to do, to be honest. Um, he did sort out some of the arguments, but he didn't really do much of the work, so I'll give him a three, maybe a four. And Moe's, well, Moe's kept us really focused on the academic side and to be honest, I had no idea Muzz was so clever until about halfway through, and he's had tons of ideas, so for me, Muzz is going to get the highest mark. I'm going to mark myself a four, because I did do most of the work, and the role play was my idea. And Liam, he's going to get a big fat zero for his amazing contribution of nothing. I can't believe he had the cheek to turn up today and expect to piggyback on the back of all our work. I don't think so.